myself my name Forgot about all you tried to change Familiar was the sound of your voice as I continue to walk another video and to my channel um it's been a while um it hasn't really it's been a week and i'm back to my monday my, 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 i am back to my monday and thursday scheduled videos so i'm excited to be uploading twice a week again as I, well three times a week again now due to weekly um weekly vlog as well also, although i do want to ask if you get around to answering this do you think I should split my weekly vlogs up and have two videos on a weekend um, for two vlogs because I know how long I talk and how long my vlogs end up becoming but I'm only going to do that if you guys agree to it maybe because I'm not sure, I'm very indecisive but anyway, before we get into this video let's just get on with the basic normal stuff if you do enjoy this video you know what to do, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you go, um and subscribe i will say this now because this is a uni video if you're starting university in september let me know also feel free to ask any questions i want to do a q a soon and i would love some questions so ask, ask me any questions whether it's uni boys life anything you want just send them in down below but if you do have any questions you want like straight away from me from uni advice if you're starting uni let me know or any uni tips videos you want to see again let me know but anyway let's just get on with the video so for today's video i've decided to do something that i feel like should be a, should be known when you go to uni because i have had two of these now and they are my favorite thing they are actually my favorite time of the year because it's my favorite week of the year last year i did my freshers week tips this year i'm giving you my freshers fair tips now for, for people who don't know what a freshers fair is are probably people who haven't been to uni yet um, Freshers Fair is something most unis do, I'm pretty sure every uni does, in Freshers Week. My, I know mine is usually in the middle of the week, it's usually like on a Wednesday. Um, last, my first year they did it two days, they did, they did it on a Wednesday and Thursday, then they went just to one day a week. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable, it's very... Um, and the whole point of it is, you get to see all the different societies there are in the university, um, so many other opportunities there are, and the, like, about the clubs, you get loads of different information and stuff, it's just a bit of fun. Um, so, and also, com some companies are there, like Wilkinson's are there, and I will explain a lot about this in this video, basically what Freshers' Fair is, and tips that you should do, and what you should ask at Freshers' Fair, because Freshers' Fair is your chance when you're starting out to ask questions about everything you need to know you're going around places where most mainly students are students like current students are standing talking about societies but if you have any questions about uni feel free just to ask them i'm sure they're gonna be like they'll give you they will t help you they won't just go oh yeah just talk about a society like unless they're narrow-minded and all they think about is the society then i'm pretty sure you are gonna get information out of them if you ask Sorry, I'm drinking loads of water because my throat is actually hurting right now. And also I'm filming this day before I get my tattoo. But anyway, my first tip, as just said, it, I said, is ask questions. I think I just, I'm really lost. Anyway, ask questions, like I said. Go around in many places, ask questions. Talk about what you're looking forward to. Like, talk about your interests because the whole point of that is looking at societies and what is happening. And maybe even if, the society still stand you're at may not fit what you actually are interested in. They might be able to point you out to a society that is what you're interested in. So ask questions to what interest, talk about what you enjoy. Um, at the beginning of Freshers' Fair, you should be given a map or there should be a map around where everything is. So you can kind of pinpoint which stalls you want to go to and which stalls you want to avoid maybe. Um, 
I do advise in your first year just to go around every stall, even if you're not interested. For certain examples, say you're not interested in like musicals and singing and acting, go to the stalls anyway. Just mingle around and have a look, take your time. Something I regretted in first year is I did not take my time going around. I went around kind of quickly, wanted to get out. Yes, it is a very busy day. And if you're not good with so many people and how busy it is, probably a bit of a hard time for you, I guess, because it is a busy day. But at the same point, it is worth it. Like, there's so many people, but at the same point, finding out all this information about society is worth it. And I wish I took more time then just rushing around wanting to get out of there. I think in my head I was adamant I wasn't going to join a society at first because I'm like, mm, probably not going to do that, probably not going to have the time, probably not going to want to. Obviously, if you've seen my vlogs and you've seen other videos, you will know that that isn't true. I have been in the show, show choir for the last two years and wouldn't, would regret it if I wasn't part of it, so I'm so glad I am. Um, another thing I would say about Freshers' Fair is take advantage of all the freebies they give you trust me um we have domino's come and they give us free slices of pizza at the beginning of the year when you've got money you're like i don't need that pizza i've got money if i wanted to get i can get a whole domino's pizza i know this sounds crazy because at the beginning of the year like you're thinking what's one slice of pizza going to do to me in a few months it's not going to do anything to you in a few months, few months to be fair but it's free pizza and if you look back in when you're in December and you didn't take that free pizza, you'll be like, I need money, food now, and I've got no food. But when I had the chance to get free food, I turned it down. Um, also, like, if there is other companies, like for me, Wilkinson's was there, and they gave us, like, free washing stuff. Um, I can't exactly remember what was in there. I think it was washing, um, SIM card, playing cards, and some other things. It's in there, and genuinely, like... Things that are helpful to so uni students. There was a wooden spoon in there as well, I remember. Um, and honestly, it's like, you sound so stupid to go to that Wilco stand and stand in that long queue and sign up for something just to get a bag. But those stuff will help you. Like, you save them 50p on a wooden spoon because they're giving you one for free. Also, number three, I guess, tip three. I've really lost track of what tips was already and it's really started. Is... There is usually some kind of a games going on. Um, we had one where we had to um, play beer pong because obviously a new thing to do is like play beer pong. And so we had to, it wasn't real beer pong. It was like do you, you have to keep trying to throw it into cups in a certain amount of time. You had to and it was really fun and it was just a really good fun way of actually just letting loose. And the whole point of Freshers Week and the Freshers Fair is just to have fun before uni starts. Love dribbling on myself. Love being an adult who dribbles. <laughs> Um, but, um, whole point of Freshers' Fair and Freshers' Week is the chance to have fun before you have to go into the hard work. And it is meant to be there to relax you and make you feel a bit more comfortable being at uni. And I will guarantee you, you will see a lot of people walking around you in Freshers' Fair feeling lost. Not sure, one, what they're doing there. Because, two, that is a questionable thing. Two, they don't, they don't know many people because it's only Freshers Week. You, most Freshers move in the weekend before Freshers Fest is. And it's like, you only know your flatmates and probably people, few people you met on induction on your course. Or on nights out. Who else have you met? <laughs> Let's be real. Because you, it's the first week. So it is, you, you, you have a chance to realise you're not the only one going through the same situation. Um, another thing I would suggest... Sorry... It's finding any stalls that are run by the uni and get information from them because these are the people who are in charge of your whole life and your whole degree for the next three years is your uni. If you've got any questions, the best chance to do is ask them there, then wait in a few months and then go, oh, I'm, I have these questions. Obviously, over the few years, you might have more questions, but obviously best to find out there there is also for international students there's a good chance for you to find out more people who are also international because they have mo i know my freshers fair has like global uh, uh, they have the societies at a global one and they have all different like international um societies and then you've got the international like actual part of the uni that comes to freshers fair and they stand there and they're prepared to help you and it's great 
And um, also, NUS, most times NUS are there. This is something you have should go to. I don't have NUS, I have uni days, which to be fair, I do agree, I will say is probably better for you because you don't have to pay for it. With NUS, you have to pay for, for it. I'm pretty sure it's turning into totem. I'm not entirely sure what it's turning into, but NUS you have to pay for to get certain discounts. And okay, it works perfectly in co-op because they use that and it's like, well, if you don't have an NUS card, you can't get a discount. And I'm like, that's a bit unfair because I have uni days, which is exactly the same. But going to the point, usually there's a store about NUS, ask them questions, like talk to them about it, maybe sign up. Another thing, top tip for you, this is a big tip, it sounds so crazy, university merch. Usually, although at the un my union anyway they sell it, so and where our freshers fair, well, was, was right by the union. So you didn't really need to have it at freshers fair, but still, it's the perfect place to get people to see that you have like hoodies and t-shirts and all the other like, stuff that says the university of whatever uni you're at um i know it sounds crazy you might not want it but i feel like i love my university hoodie it is it is just so comfy and i just genuinely think it was my, it was the best purchase i bought because i feel like I got a big enough size that should last me for a few more years after I graduate and you know keeping having a hoodie that says you're from this uni just says you're proud personally also I'm aware this freshness fair advice is probably not the best but I'm I'm going with it because I like it and I like talking and from what I remember of freshness fair I'm just giving you advice society wise of advice I, I've said ask questions a hundred times but if you have specific societies that you want to go to I know I said go around everyone but if you do have specific societies you do want to see go to those societies first sign up for a taster session they will send you details about it sign up because honestly even if you're not sure you want to definitely join at least you signed up if you know you're someone you want to go to the stall go sign up ask them questions because the people who are going to be there are people who are part of the society usually people who are part of the committee plus extra members of, of the society if they're asked um but you've got the committee there and all of them are there they're part of the society so they can answer any question you want you can find out what the society does how the society runs how it goes like they can answer anything because they, they, they've been in that society for at least a year honestly you get the best advice if you ask i remember when i went round first year kind of avoided asking questions because I was scared and then I got to the show choir while and I was like oh and I just signed up I didn't ask I just signed up and I told them oh I just love singing all I ever do is sing so it makes sense <coughs> um and to be fair I didn't go to the taste of sessions because I was too scared and then I didn't go for weeks and then I just decided one week after a night out that I'm gonna pay no the day after a night out that I'm just gonna pay for the membership so then I have to go I, pay, I went that one week after I paid for a membership and then I didn't go for about three weeks then I came back and then I, got, I, I just continued going from then it was just a fair thing and honestly it is understandable that you're joining a society you're signing up for a taste session of society but you're scared it makes sense but honestly there is nothing to be scared about and that's why I say, if you are scared about even going along to it, ask the, the Freshers' Fair because I tell you something, those people who run the society, who are in the committee, all they're looking, they're not looking to scare you away, they're looking to bring you in. And most societies, I don't know, I've never really been in one, but I can guarantee they're very welcoming. And as long as you're willing and open to things, you will be fine. Um, Another thing I say about Freshers' Fair is take it slow. I already said go around everything. It's busy, but and take, but take your time and take it slow. It is very overwhelming, and it, for Freshers for first years, hundred percent say to you, it is very overwhelming. Understandably, you've just moved out of home for some of you, first time. Some of you might not be. Some of you it might be easy. Some of it might be hard. Some of you might still be getting used to the whole idea of being away from home, feeling slightly homesick, not feeling like you want to be at an event. 
do you want to be walking around with tons of people walking around but and I get it because it is overwhelming but you if try and take your time you don't have to go to everything at once maybe go around a small amount get take a break and then continue to go around but take your time take it all in I mean and this with everything is the faster you go around the more you miss things and honestly you don't want to miss things it's fresh as fair and honestly it's my favorite event one of my favorite events ever i don't know why just is <clears throat> my last tip for fresh as fair is more for people who are already students who are going into second year don't think just because you're a second year student or a third year student that you shouldn't go back to fresh as fair go back do it again I was helping on a stall this year. Actually, I was helping on a stall in society. I didn't actually end up joining. Um, long story short, I decided not to join it, but it was my friend's society and I offered to help at Freshers Fair, so I was like, yeah, sure. And um, that was worth it. And <coughs> um, sorry. And I went round the fair and I just saw places and then I met my friends and we went round the fair and it was just like, it was really nice. It was really chill and I was really like interested to see all different societies and what there is out there and getting more freebies I guess so yeah but anyway this was a bit of a shambles but I hope in some ways it did help some of you and if you did enjoy it please give me a huge thumbs up please comment down below like I said comment me down if you're a university student or you're going to university in September and if you've got any questions let me know and I will see you, and also don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again on Thursday with my next video.